We're playing um, What a Wonderful World, the Sam Cooke version, and this is in the key of B, right? So there's some confusion about, like, is it, uh, how do you name the chord? Is it a sharp or is it a flat? Well, the key can tell you what whether the, uh, the note that you're playing, the chord that you're playing, the root of it, is going to be sharp or flat. So, for instance, here we have a B, right? So B, then the next note is a whole step up, and since we're talking about um, remember the notes have to be in order so after B would come C whether it's a sharp or a natural or whatever right so uh, so I got B C sharp then a D sharp then an E then an F sharp then a G sharp then an A sharp then a B again that's my scale right there so that would be the names of the notes in the scale and also the names of the roots of the chords that we might play if we're playing uh, diatonically which we are in this case diatonically means only uh, chords that are uh, built from the from the scale rather than uh, non-scale chords. And that sounds confusing, right? <laughs> but in, in this case, we've got a B, right? We have a C sharp minor. We're only going to play a little piece of that, though. I'm playing the four inside, uh, the one, two, three, three um, inside strings to get that. That would be my um, two, three, and four strings. There's my G sharp minor, right? Here's an E down here, like a regular E that you know and an F sharp here on the second fret, which in this case I'm going to play with the top four strings, one, two, three, and four. So, so I've got, uh, don't know much about, and I'm going to change to the G sharp minor, history, now back to the E, don't know much by, and now to the F sharp, ology, the uh, so those are your chords, pretty straightforward, B, G sharp minor, E, and F sharp, F sharp. So now, if you want to play finger style, then you can play the melody right on top, right on top of those chords. So the first guy, don't know much about, we're going to get that right out of the B. Here we go. So to do that, I'm playing the fourth fret of my B string, right? And now the second fret of my, of my E1 string. So those first two notes, I don't even got to change my B. Now here I go, this is getting more challenging. Uh, I'm basically going to lay my pinky finger down on, on the 4th fret here. And then back up again so I can get the... So rather than moving, again, uh, be a lazy guitar player if you can, uh, as little motion as you have to use is efficient, right? And the more efficient you play, the nicer and smoother you can play. So the, rather than sh shifting my, my chord to an entirely... Uh, yeah. this, maybe. B6, that would be a B6. So instead of playing the B6 like this, right, I'm going to play it just by laying my pinky finger down. So I've got this. Uh, sorry. Now to the G sharp minor, G sharp minor, I could play like so. But again, I'm really only play interested in playing that, uh, that, um, that root note here on the 6th fret. So I've got, so I'm going to play the 6th fret and then put my pinky finger on the 6th fret of the G string, uh, which gives me my uh, C sharp, right? Now I've got this. Now back down to the E. And those don't know much, I can get right out of the E shape, that's with my, that's with my, uh, my G sharp and my uh, my G sharp and my B. Don't know much G sharp first fret of the G string of course in B open B. Don't know much by don't know much by and now back to an F sharp. Uh, F sharp uh, like you might play an F down here top four strings one two three and four first finger on the uh, second fret of the one and two string second finger on the third fret of the three string pinky finger on the fourth fret of the four string. Now the a melody note then would be my uh, A, A, B, right, A, A, B, so that's first finger, it's already there, right, and pinky finger on the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I said A, uh, what I want is uh, C sharp, C sharp, and uh, D sharp, C sharp and D sharp, sorry, my bad, so, now we have so far, If you have to have the patience to, to do this stuff, to do this finger style, uh, it can sound really beautiful. Uh, so have some fun, 
uh, if this looks like something you're interested in, let me know, and I'll, I'll continue with the rest of the uh, rest of the song.